it, it's sad that uh, it had to end like this or, or something like this had to occur for this issue to resurface. Public Safety Oversight Chair Senator Adolfo Palacios is talking about last week's tragedy involving the death of a newborn boy. The baby and his 17-year-old mother waited two hours before a medic finally arrived in Marizzo. Palacios blames GFD leadership for the ambulance shortage. They could have done more. Nick, uh, they, they have not done what they could have done. Uh, this is what I would like to see, for example, uh, the leadership at the fire department should actually stay on top of this, assign one person. Some people said, some members of the fire department said, I didn't know what I'm talking about. It's, I think of it very sim simplistically. I don't think so, Nick. Firefighters like Captain Ray Garrido take exception to Senator Palacios' statement, saying the problem with the medics didn't occur overnight. Senator Palacios needs to realize that uh, we in the fire department want to do our job to the best of our ability, but as uh, chairman for safety, he should provide us the uh, resources through budgeting to help us out. Uh, every year we get our budget cut by three million, two million, whatever it may be, and to maintain a department that deals with life safety, uh, you're hampering and jeopardizing the uh, safety of the people. We can't put blame on the GFD personnel that responded. They're doing the best they could, and I commend them. It's the resources that this government fails to deliver. Health Committee Chair Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. has requested Adeloupe to declare a state of emergency so that the procurement process can be expedited to use the $500,000 in DOI funds to purchase new units and a couple of new engines. In the interim, he also recommends entering into a memorandum of agreement to lease private ambulances, which GFD has said would be too expensive. I don't think we could really put a price tag on, on saving even one life.